Hey, what is going on guys? I want to welcome you back to the channel. Well, today we're just going to do some basic function testing and some zeroing of this uh, Radical Firearms Upper uh, Palmetto State Armory Lower, well, pistol, well, pistol lower, AR-15 pistol. Uh, we'll be sighting it in at 50 yards, then we'll try to take it out to 100 yards and see what kind of accuracy can pull off. Yes, I am running the inexpensive $5 Magpul uh, clone uh, flip-up sights, M-Bus sights. I'm going to put real Magpul sights on it. I just want to see if these things can even function, if they'll even stay on or break apart, or if they're going to hold zero or whatnot. Um, and so they're not going to be the uh, the permanent sights on it, but I was just kind of curious to see how it's going to run. And this is my trusty imitation Bushnell uh, red dot sight that I bought from um, Wish.com. It does say Bushnell on the other side of it. Um, it was like five bucks for delivery. I got 20 bucks in that. This will be like the fourth rifle that I've shot this <laughs> red dot side on, and it has functioned just fine. We are running the uh, CAC uh, Shockwave Industries rear blade uh, pistol uh, support fin, I guess you could call it pistol pin, and that 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 should be pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm not using the CAC Industries buffer tube. I'm just using the standard uh, PSA pistol buffer tube, and it fits fine. I tighten the screw. Uh, I did put the blue Loctite on it because I'm legally allowed to do so. Length of pull is less than 13.5 inches, so I'm not running an SBR technically, okay? Um, and also, I have not used red Loctite on that screw on the back on the uh, blade. So, it is, for all intents and purposes, an, AR, an AR-15 pistol. Um, it does have the um, M-Lock, uh, I guess you could call it quad rail, on the front here. 10.5 inch upper with the carbine link gas system on it. Should be all set. I did take it off. This kind of concerned me a little bit. These screws don't go very tight. I did slightly over tighten one of them and it just basically slipped, it basically slipped and started tightening up again. So I did put blue Loctite on all the eight of the screws that keep the handguard in place. Uh, I did add an M lock rail section on the bottom because I do intend on putting a flashlight on this pistol. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do this though because I do want to put an M lock um, angle foregrip on the rear of it. So I might have to move this up at some point. But for now, it's going to do the job for what it needs to do. So, all right, let's go ahead and roll that range footage. We'll be shooting brass ammunition and steel case ammunition through it. Uh, the steel case is more or less just to see if it's going to function, see if it has any issues extracting. And then after that, we'll be primarily just shooting brass through it as we get it zeroed in. So, all right, let's go ahead and roll that footage. Okay, guys, here we go. We've got the Radical Firearms Upper PSA pistol lower with the inexpensive Bushnell on there, $15 sight. We're going to be uh, doing red dot. Uh, no iron sights yet, but red dot at 75 yards, and we're going to see how well it performs shooting brass. We're shooting 5.56 five, brass, and then I'll just do a mag dump with steel case to make sure it runs. Play around with the irons a little bit, and then we're going to call it a day. Okay, that's the uh, Radical Firearms AR upper with the Magpul lower, uh, shooting 5.56 brass ammunition, 75 yards. Uh, I can live with that. That was with the uh, red dot sight, and I'm just going to tinker around with the iron sights, but I'm not going to put it on. Uh, I'm not going to record it because it's starting to rain pretty good out here. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and just uh, finish out the mag here. And uh, so I think that's about it. So, guys, I want to thank you for joining me today. I apologize for not getting to those EMBA sites. We'll get to them at some other point. They stayed on. They didn't go loose, and so that's good. I did run a few rounds through it, but my uh, safety glasses were fogging up because of the rain and the humidity and so on. So I really couldn't safely shoot it, so I did stop at that point. Um, but otherwise, you know, it's okay. I mean, continue looking into a pistol AR. If you have not done so, do a little bit of research. Make sure you definitely take it to the range before you rely on it to defend your life the first time. And uh, we'll go from there. So there you go, guys. All right, so I want to thank you all for joining me today, guys. Please like or subscribe. You can check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'm also over on GunChannels.com with the Ordinary Average Guy Gun Channel. Uh, you can also, let's see, check out Patreon because if you'd like to be a supporter of the channel, we have that as an option. You can go to Patreon.com backslash TravisP11. Otherwise, I think that's about it. Check out Caliber Corner. It's our Saturday morning podcast. We do at 8 a.m. Uh, Central Time on YouTube and GunChannels.com. There is a page over on Gun Channels you can do to see it. Um, you can go over to to check it out. And otherwise, I think that's about it, guys. So, again, just a little bit frustrated. Uh, but the other two firearms that took to the range did work out really well today, which was great. That SC9VE and then the Bear Creek Arsenal AR, no problems whatsoever. So, guys, I think that's about it. So I want you to have fun. I want you to be safe. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, have a great rest of the week. Bye-bye.